Hey, good after 5 p.m. Redneck followers. Uh, JD here at North Texas with a a little hack and mod that I've done on my on my uninterruptible power. Uh, a, it's called a APC UPC, and what it is, uh, it's a ba battery backup. And we've had some outages here in North Texas. Uh, one summer, either the one before 2020 or 2019, whatever, uh, we were out for nine hours, lost some food and stuff. And but I didn't lose internet, and I didn't lose phone, uh, landline phone, and I didn't lose a computer service because uh, of this little idea that I did. Now. If you buy an APC, uh, let me flip it around and look at it. This is an APC uh, several years old. It is a 1500 and um, it comes with two small lead acid batteries. Um, as you can see, the display shows battery life, uh, voltage in 121. We have uh, 25 events that happen sometime in the in the most recent uh, we show estimated runtime 56 minutes well you're not going to get that with a stock APC 1500 and I'll tell you why in a minute uh, load we're shooting at, suit it sitting at 90 floor watts and flipping around in the high 80s uh, load is 10% and out voltage value 121 Let's see what this says, 60 hertz, and that's it. Okay, so what I've done, this thing needed batteries. So should I spend $40 on batteries, or should I spend, let's say, 60 and get more power? So what I did was, went to our favorite places. I got a battery box from Walmart. And um, these are my newest batteries. Uh, door cell from Sam's for 30 bucks. They're a 300 cold crank each. Um, 370 uh, crank amp. These things are uh, sealed, unless you really want to get into them. And they are connected in series, which means we connect positive and negative, positive to negative here. Uh, then the negative goes back over to the APC UPC and here's my positive tag with the red So what I did I ran some cables I made them up and I ran them in the box in the side of the unit and I'm gonna see if I can get Into the unit to show you how I tapped in So what I did I just basically cut the ends off the quick connect uh, cables going into the unit which are the smaller red and black and then you can see the wire nuts uh, and strip them back and just twisted them together with the wire nuts pretty simple so okay you're saying probably that yeah so so JD you're only getting 56 extra uh, minutes well not exactly I've got a lot of stuff connected and running for 56 minutes. What do I have? I have, we have a monitor, a TV, a printer. Uh, I might have another computer connected. So what I can do is, okay, let's turn this one off. Kill that one. Come on, baby. Shut off. And then we'll go up here to the TV. And we will we will turn that one off. Now she's dead. Now we're down to more of a minimal. And we'll go over here. Uh, and let's see what we got. So let's go back to the menu. And now we are up to 6% at uh, went past it but 88 minutes 88 minutes approaching approaching an hour and a half so that's pretty good for a minimal power failure uh, gives you some play time 
to do your get your generator going for the house which I have in a previous video um, and uh, if you're with doing some sensitive banking or stock trading you've got some time your your stuff doesn't just die out on you uh, when you're in the middle of that so anyway anyway that's my that's my hack and mod for today uh, the uh, UPC APC or the APC UPC they are under uninterruptible power supply that's the word I was looking for supply um, highly recommend it not only does it give you uninterruptible power but it actually protects your stuff because the the in, in uh, power has to go through the whole machine be conditioned um, go through the uh, all the circuitry and then back out I think it's far superior to any surge protector you could possibly buy and I've got those too but I've got those on the strips behind it so I've got uh, more than double uh, protection I also had a whole house uh, power, power um, surge protector that was connected to the fuse box uh, that is the breaker box but I'm not sure that is the thing even does anything because it's just it hooks to two breakers and that's it I don't know how it's not really in line with the circuitry it's basically a, an adjunct uh, tap off to the side but at any rate uh, thanks for watching I appreciate uh, your any views uh, any likes feel free to comment please if I uh, if you would uh, go ahead and click uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, click the bell and that'll give us uh, give you and me uh, indicators that people are watching and uh, an indicator that I've got a new video up to show something else I've come up with but again this was one of the cheapest things I could do for all price almost the same price as the batteries the tiny little batteries that go in there I got two monster uh, tractor lawn tractor batteries at um, at Sam's and you can go bigger than this I mean if you got say like two car batteries uh, Sam's has the best deals you can get a group 27 big boy battery for 100 bucks out there. that's pretty much you're not gonna buy that battery anywhere else for that kind of price now Walmart has also come up with a, a flat cap sealed battery and it's about the same price 30 bucks and they are right near the 300 watt i um, sorry 300 crank and cold so anyway thanks for watching and until the next time uh, god bless and stay safe adios